Welcome to the Melodyne Editor Tour about playback, navigation, and zooming. To change the size of the window, click and drag the bottom right-hand corner. This works in the standalone and in the plug-in too. Melodyne Editor plugin always follows the position of the host cursor, which when running cannot be influenced from within the plugin. With Melodyne Editor Standalone, you start and stop the playback using the transport keys at the top left of the window or by pressing the spacebar. If you hold the Alt key at the same time, playback will be confined to the current selection. You can also control the standalone using your keyboard's number keypad. Enter to begin playback, null to stop it. Pressing null twice returns the playback cursor to the last start position. Pressing null three times positions the cursor at the start of the file. With both Melodyne Editor Standalone and Melodyne Editor Plugin, you can select successive blobs by stepping through them with the arrow keys. You can also use the bar ruler for controlling playback and scrubbing. Double click in the bar ruler or directly on the editing background to begin playback from the chosen position. Click somewhere in the bar ruler to move the playback cursor to that point, at the same time stopping the playback. If you hold down the Alt key as you double click, playback will be confined to the current selection. Click and drag in the bar ruler to scrub through the audio material. These functions are available both in Melodyne Editor Standalone and in the plugin. In the plugin, this only works as local playback when the host is stopped. These functions, on the other hand, only work in the standalone version of Melodyne Editor. Just press pause in your video player if you need more time with these summaries. Select the scroll tool from beneath the main tool or hold down the command key to move the display area with the mouse. Select the Zoom tool from beneath the main tool or press Command plus Alt together and use your mouse to zoom the display. You can zoom horizontally or vertically with the magnifying glass. Command plus double click zooms in on a blob or several selected ones. Double click in the editing background to return to the previous zoom level. Drag the horizontal or vertical scrollers to move the display. The horizontal scroller contains a miniaturized image of the contents as an orientation aid. Drag the ends of the scroller to zoom the display. Double-click in the center of the scroller to zoom in or out just enough to ensure that all the blobs are displayed. Use the slider in the bottom right corner to make the blobs bigger. This does not alter their volume. Most of the time, you will do this to get a clearer view of material containing a lot of quiet notes. This tour gave you an overview of navigation and zooming in Melodyne Editor. Just hit pause in your video player if you need more time with the summaries.